In 337 AD, after the death of Constantine the Great, his empire would be split in four, much like the Tetrarchy, and it's possible that he got his ideas of succession from the Tetrarchy and uh, was probably inspired by it. So he had Constans control Italy, uh, Illyria, and North Africa. Constantine II controlled Gaul, Hispania, and Britain. Dalmatius controlling the Balkans and Greece. And Constantius II controlling Anatolia, the Levant, and Egypt. Uh, so we will cover the story of the West today. We will con- uh, cover Constantius II uh, next time. So let's talk about Constantine II. Born Flavius Claudius Constantinus. He would be emperor from 337 to 340. Uh, and he would inherit Gaul, Hispania, and Britannia. He would uh, be the oldest of Constantine's living children at that point, and would prove to be a pretty uh, bad emperor and pretty forgettable, only uh, reigning three years. So let's talk about Constantine II's military experience. At the age of seven, he went with uh, his, his father Constantine on a campaign against the Sarmatians, and also uh, was commander of Gaul at the age of 10. So he was pretty, uh, not that experienced, but he, he knew what was going on in terms of uh, that stuff. Constantine also uh, re- had the return of Athanasius uh, because he favored the Nicene Creed, which you could see uh, was really rising. Uh, most of the Germanic tribes at the end uh, would convert to Arianism, uh, a sp- split of the uh, Christian church. And uh, so he supported the main line I see in Creed. So let's talk about Constantine the Second's death. In 340 AD, Constans would finally like kind of mature into his own, and he uh, lost a lot of power over Constan, who he thought he could manipulate for a long time and just kind of de facto control Italy and North Africa. Uh, after Constans refused to uh, give up his lands after uh, he lost like a bunch of his power due to his coming of age. Constantine decided to invade Italy, uh, but while he was in the Alps, he would uh, be killed from an ambush outside of Aquileia. This would be the end of Constantine II, and all of his lands would be transferred to Constans I, uniting the West with Constans controlling Gaul, Britannia, and Hispania now. So Constans I, born Flavius Julius Constans, Born in 320 AD, the youngest of Constantine's living children. He had uh, many issues at his reign. And like I said before, would inherit uh, Constantine II's lands off of his death in uh, 340. So let's talk about Constantine's uh, religious policies. He was uh, banned pagan sa- uh, sacrifices, held the Council of Sardica, and uh, heavily supported the Nicene Creed over Arianism, which uh, I'm pretty sure I've said before, Arianism uh, would be the religion of uh, Germanic tribes and such. So let's talk about his military campaigns. He would campaign against the Franks in 341 and 342 and the Sarmatians with his uh, father in 337. So let's talk about his death. In 350, uh, a general named Magnentius would revolt against Constans, and he would die. This would be the end of Constans. So let's talk about both of these emperors and the performance. I would put Constans at C tier as an average emperor with uh, continuing the Christianization of the empire and being a okay commander, and uh, at least just inheriting and stabilizing the West. And I'd put Constantine the second F tier. Uh, his perceived rights of... Uh, him des- deserving to own everything really uh, screwed him, and he would die at the hands of a uh, at an ambush, and it would be pretty unremarkable and just really bad for the empire just going uh, through that. So uh, that's the end of the video. Subscribe, like, uh, comment in the video. Uh, that would be really nice. And goodbye.